so i want to do a quick tutorial to show you how i'm using my phone camera like this to record myself using my laptop okay so right about now i want to how to use your phone camera as the webcam for obs and you will observe that i am doing this right inside obs the reason why i'm doing it right inside obs right now is so that you can see the difference between where i'm going to start from and where i'm going to end look at this is the camera here right now you can see this this is the webcam right now this is how it looks even if i turn on my backlight here you can see that it looks very uninteresting and well i don't know why it looks this way but it just shows that it is not perfect so i'm going to turn off this light so that i can be clearly seen and we are going to work through how that works so we are going to see the end result and we are going to compare with this eventually so let's get that go in so in order for me to add obs right now in order for me to add the webcam right now the first thing i'm going to do is first of all to install the app on my phone for this side of this tutorial what you want to do is you want to go to google drive you want to type cam on live you want to type come on live and you want to install this first one here this one here that's what you want to install so you can see it says installed on my own phone so if i click on it it says open that is exactly what you want to use for transmitting your video from your phone to your laptop if i open it this is what you are going to see it's going to turn it to this so you find this on your screen you can see that it's trying to fit it to screen so i'm going to exit this and once i have the app installed on my phone i want to now open up the app there are two ways to connect the app to your phone you can use your web you can use wi-fi or you can use usb i particularly love usb because i noticed that my usb is faster the communication is faster for usb compared to my wife in order for this to work on my laptop what i'll need to do i'll simply need to change it to usb tethering the reason is i want to use my usb as my wi-fi i want my usb to be able to send 10 media communications to my laptop so that's what i'm going to do and then after that i'm going to come to the camera here i'm going to turn on this camera and we are going to see the camera right here so the camera now is opened and this is the camera now let me go ahead and set everything else up so let me fix the camera on the stand right now okay so once you make the tutoring connection once you establish the tutoring connection one of the things that will first of all happen is your laptop will begin to use white a network so you see here it says network five internet access so it's going to instantly create internet access for you on your phone now open the app so open the app once you open the app the next thing you want to do is you want to come to the address it's going to call it address so if it says address simply type that into your browser so here it says 168.8.100 that is the link for me right now so so i'm going to first of all type this and i want you to see what it's going to look like this is supposed to be eight so be sure to check very well if i type eight you can see it's not working so 192 plus 168 plus 8 plus 100 is not working so i'm going to now put what it puts here it says like 80 80 so now let's enter now you can see it instantly worked look at right here is showing my laptop right now and the thing is you can always switch front camera or back camera so if i choose front camera right now you are going to almost instantly begin to see my face instead so right now it's changing to front camera so you can see this is front camera here now there is a reason why you have to come to this site because this is the site that allows your phone to communicate with your laptop now again i'm using usb primarily so you are not doing any special connection you don't always have to um, do everything from scratch you just need to come to this site in order for you to establish to be sure that there is connection between your phone and your laptop and this is the button for focus this is zoom out this is zoom in so you can always zoom in you can always zoom in you can always zoom out so it is what is found here that oh that you will now take and put inside obs let me show you how that works right about now i want to go and fix my camera on the stand and 
while I fix my camera to the stand, I'm going to flip the camera to the other side. So I'm going to use the back camera rather than the front camera. Okay? So, good one. So now, this is the app here. This is the app right here. When you open it, what you want to do is, the most important place that you need to pay attention to is this side of the screen, this side here. That's what you want to pay the most important attention to. And what you simply need is this link here. That is what you want to type into your into OBS when you get into OBS. Now, in order to do all the other adjustments, in order to do all the other adjustments, I'm simply going to select settings and then it's going to flip the screen. Sorry for that flipping, go back and forth. So what you will then do is you come to network here, you see port says 8080. You can always edit it, you can always correct it if you want, but I would recommend you just leave it like that. That way it sets it up so that it's at default setting for you. If you want to stream, there are plenty of other things that you can do with this phone, but for this particular option, what you want to focus on is how to use it with your laptop. So you can choose input device, that is your back camera or your front camera. As you can see, in my own case here, I have my back facing camera, that is the back of my camera, rather than the front facing camera, which is for selfie. So if I select, if I select that and I go back, you will see right here that this is the back that it's using. So I'm going to select it and change it back to the front right now, to the front facing camera, and you will instantly see my face. So now, you can see this is my face here so that is what it's beginning to use so what i'm going to do again is rather than use my front facing camera because i have observed that my back facing camera has higher resolution compared to my front facing camera so i'm going to use my back facing camera you can always adjust your resolution here my recommendation is to use 1920 by 1080 and then for focus mode you can use on touch auto focus that is when you touch it or you can select i fixed it depends on what you are looking for if you choose continuous autofocus it's going to keep changing so i don't usually always activate that one of the reasons why i love this app is the fact that it has focus it has exposure adjustment so you can also adjust exposure here if i turn if i turn that let lock exposure do not adjust the exposure automatically that is it's going to just be there like this and then i can select it notice here now I'm going to select the exposure now. You can see the exposure is adjusting just as the focus is adjusting as well. So that way I have it fully working right here. But again, the most important place you want to focus on is just that. And you can find the network. If you, want, if you can't find the network on your screen, you can find it down here in this information. This is where you find the network. This side here, this is where you find the information. This is available local network. It's going to use your Wi-Fi network anyway. And this is public IP address. So it's going to use your Wi-Fi address. It's going to use a Wi-Fi IP address. That is as simple as it is. So anytime you open it up, once you have that setting set up, it saves your setting automatically. So anytime you just open it, all you will then need to do every time you open it is just to check the IP address here because the IP address, from my experience, this is the third time I'm using it because I've I just recently discovered it so this is the time i'm using it and the first time i used it i used it that is i used it twice at the same time this is the third time i'm using it and i observed that the ip address has changed so the ip address will often change from whatever it depends on your um internet so that said this is where i will end this and then we'll move into how to put all of them together see so this is the back facing camera you can see how the communication is established you can see how it looks a lot more interesting if i turn on this light here now you will see the difference can you see that this looks more interesting to the eyes compared with the one i had inside obs compared to the one i had inside obs so this is the one obs this is what obs is speaking right now this is what this is speaking right now can you see the difference right now if you compare this with this one inside obs here you will most likely see that there is a lot of discrepancy this is not looking great this here is looking great so how do i take this and drop it inside obs that's exactly what i'm going to show you for this i want to simply add a new source this time around i want to add phone camera source so I'm going to click phone camera source here. I'm going to start from scratch. 
I'm going to add audio input capture and I'm going to add existing. I'm going to select this. I'm going to click OK. And I'm also going to add here now. What I'm going to add is going to be called media source. Now, for this, I'm going to simply type common phone. So let me just call it common phone. I'm going to type OK. And it's going to pop this up. Local file. I'm not going to use local file. So I'm going to tick off local file. Then it's going to open up where I can type something. So right now I'm going to type here. I'm going to paste that link. And then I'm going to come back to this. And then in front of it, right here, you can always access this page here to see how to set it up in case you run into any error. I'm going to put this link in the description so that you can always pick that up. So you see that right here, it says one night, you should put your Disney slash video slash H264. So I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to type video slash H264. And then I'm simply going to click OK. Now problem number one, it's not working this is this here so it shows like it's not working so let me right click and choose transform and then make it fit to screen first now it's not working so what does that mean it means something is not correct so if you try http and it doesn't work what you then need to do is to simply change it now if you observe in this place here what they wrote is rtsp not http so simply change it to rtsp and then pl click ok and almost instantly your video comes live now comparing that with this logitech look at this is logitech here. this is phone camera source now what do you which one do you think is clearer <laughs> which one do you think is clearer you can see that this is a lot better than even webcam so this is exactly what i do this is how i add the audio to this is how i use this as my own source now one of the things that i've done is also to use the audio source coming from the phone so here i'm using the audio coming in from the camera that's because i'm using h264 now you can also change that to m um, you can try there are different variations that you can use so some of the variations that you can use is also you can also use the address mjpeg so it now looks like this mjpeg or this i'm not using password so it's best not to use password so that you don't get to experience any technical challenge so if i'm going to change this to mjpeg so let me try the mjpeg and let's see how that looks so i'm going to type this here i'm going to press ok and i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting for it to stream so mjpeg seem not to be working so let me return it back to h264 h264 seem to work very fine for me so okay and then i'm back on the screen now i'm using the back camera remember i'm not even using the front camera and remember that you can always come back here and zoom in so i can always come back here and zoom in so i'm zooming in twice now and then let's go inside obs so you can see inside obs here you can see i'm zoomed in so if i move this this way so you see i'm properly set up now now my head is cutting off so that means i need to zoom out a little just once and then come back to obs you can see my so if i turn back off this light you can see here you can see that everything is still looking very clean so this is exactly how this is exactly how i set up my my video so that everything looks clean now you can add the filters that i added just as i did that time so you can still add the filters of color correction you can still add all that so you can choose to add contrast you can choose to drop the contrast you can choose to expose you can choose to reduce the exposure rate so you see that it's looking vivid sharper you can choose to increase saturation you can choose to decrease saturation so that it looks just cool everything just looks cool and if you use hue shift it changes the colors in your video and if you use opacity opacity just drops it so i'm just going to reset it back to default i'm simply going to click close now i don't want to use that so i'm going to go back there and then i'm going to click delete i'm going to delete that effect i'm going to select default and then i'm going to bring it back so this is how i use my phone camera as my webcam now i'm using usb 
you can use wi-fi if you choose if you use wi-fi it means your wi-fi needs to be on on your laptop and your wi-fi needs to be on on your phone that way your phone the app and your laptop can communicate once you do that in my own case i found that my laptop my usb connection works faster than my so let me record here so that you see how the recording goes this is recording directly inside the so let me record here so that you see how the recording goes so this is me recording right here now you, as you can see this is me recording here now this is recording directly inside the inside obs so let me drop this let me drop this and let's see and you can see i look a lot more cleaner right now so rather than the way i was faded and faint out so if i turn this light to me you can see this light is still making me look very faint so i can turn it away from me and everything still works fine now that is exactly what you're going to see in the video inside here so i'm going to stop this recording and then i'm going to go to where i have my recording and then i'm going to try and play the video right now so that you can see how the video looks this is recording directly inside the inside obs so let me drop compared to the one coming in from webcam right here so you can see the difference here this is the one coming from webcam and this is the one coming in directly from phone based on what you can see here which one do you think works best which one do you think is clearer which one do you think is more interesting to the eyes well you be the judge i am dio samuel once again and i'll see you in the next tutorial